Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I've got a spooky store trip for you today. We go to Home Goods, Bath and Body Works, and Michaels to look at what they have out. Alright, so we're starting off at Home Goods, and yeah, they've definitely got like a Halloween section out for sure. Um, got some glass pumpkins going on right there. I didn't look at a lot of the prices on those I think I looked last time but yeah if you're you want some glass different colored pumpkins uh, home goods is your store this year cool kind of a vintagey looking um, simplistic skeleton right there for six nine he was pretty big too um, there's like a basket there with like a um, for 25 bucks. It's it's kind of biggish. It's um, has like some beaded work on it, sorta with um, bats in the moon. I don't know if you would like maybe put a if a candle would look good in that or not. Um, this thing is kind of um, strange. It's a uh, jack o' lantern carved into like a wooden kind of pale. I noticed some, uh, I didn't get a good look at it, but there was like a leaf detail on the handle. For the right kind of place, um, yeah, I don't know who did that with the ghost right there, the hand. I don't know if they were doing it for me or not, but thank you. Um, yeah, that, uh, pumpkin pale thing, uh, would probably look good in, like, the right house, you know? Very kind of subtle Halloween. Got some Pretty tall skeletons here. I think that one may have been like four foot and maybe the other one was like five foot. Um, I don't remember if he was taller than me or not. $150 for one and that one is $200. Um, yeah, so that's definitely, it's kind of like a fancy butler almost. Although the flower kind of makes it look like he's um, like a groom or something, but then he's got a towel and also like a little pail. Just looking at the trick-or-treat luminary house. Sort of, I don't know if luminary is the right term for that. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, it was nice to see those big skeletons like that, though. That's like, you know, legit Halloween stuff now. <laughs> Um, all kinds of different, like, garland for between, like, 13 and 17. Um, that thing gave off really good light. I was impressed by that. I probably should have grabbed it. I really like these ghost garland things. Um, but their little eyes have yellow around them from the glue. So, yeah, be sure to kind of really look at those if, um, you wanted to get them. I mean, it wouldn't matter, I'm sure, like, from far away, but... It mattered a little bit too much for me. I really like this thing too. Kind of a classic looking ghost. It was, it was decently heavy too. It was probably worth 50 bucks for sure. Uh, the, I think the little hat had a little um, pumpkin face on it too up there. And now we have a Ray Dunn. I guess decorative books are what these are. I don't know. But... They had a Ray Dunn thing <laughs> for the people that are into the Ray Dunn stuff. But I really, I don't know. I, decorative books is the only thing I can think of. I really dug this bat garland. Um, very cool. Very, like, different looking. Didn't Doesn't really go with my style, but I thought it was really neat. And a big $200 statue. That thing, it was at least five foot tall. It was <laughs> kind of crazy looking. I couldn't reach that to get to the price, but it has a cute little little cat. Hotel of Horrors. Um, with kind of a cool little vampire on it. Uh, th that right there has definitely been my favorite of that style. Of, um, I guess, I don't know what you call them, but... Of the handcrafted stuff in that style that Home Goods has this year. Little, you can see how, you know, those are very small cups, just so you know. Like, look at my hand is small. Like, look, look at it. It's like, I don't know, I guess a teacup, probably. 
$7.99. I thought they were really cute. But like in a good way. Like not like silly cute. Cute cute. Or spooky cute. There we go. And uh, got some some Snoopy. <laughs> does everybody still have like, you know, obviously I'm in my 30s. So I'm, I'm out of school a long time. But does like everybody still have that one teacher that's super into peanuts? I feel like that was like some teacher in every elementary school but it's you know that was a long time ago so I don't know if that's still a thing or not really cool bowls there um, some Disney Halloween love there with the Mickey and Minnie mugs, plus Lilo and, well, Stitch at least. I didn't see Lilo on that cup from before, but Stitch. Yeah, I couldn't get to the price. Like, so it's probably on the bottom of the box, and I'm like working one-handed there. So that's what I was trying to do, but I failed. But it's probably pretty good price. Seemed like all their dishware and partyware stuff are reasonably priced. That bowl was pretty, right? It has kind of like the crackly look. It's 25 bucks, but it goes, see, it goes with that stand there. I really liked it. I wish the crackly look was on the outside, too, instead of it just being, like, matte. Cool bowls. Um, pretty small bowls. Like, definitely bigger than, like, sauce bowls, but smaller, like a small bowl of cereal bowl. Twelve ninety nine. I really liked those. Twelve ninety nine again. I'm showing you. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to redo my nails. Sorry. <laughs> A trick or treat jar. Six bucks. I thought that was that's a pretty good price. I would think. And, you know, I don't know, I, I think I've already mentioned this, but, like, there was stuff scattered all over the store. So, it had that main aisle with all the pumpkin stuff on it. This was a different end cap. There was, I go to a couple of more end caps they had. And this was over with the rest of the table runners right here. They had I have several table, table runners. Um, looks like most of them were 72 inches long and $14.99. There's one with sort of like beads and then like a like a spider on the end of it. You're fixing to see. That one was cool. Kind of translucent bat one. That'd be a good one to layer on top of something. And they had some cool placemats. Um, they had these, and then I show one other with just a pumpkin on it. I definitely like these more than just the pumpkin. Um, I like those a lot. I, I've i seen some, like, really cool ones at Home Depot, though. Not in person, but they keep Target adding me on Facebook. <laughs> um, and, yeah, really neat-looking placemats at Home Depot this year. I'm, th like, thinking about finally getting a dining table, so... I'm interested in placemats and table runners this year. Very pretty tablecloth. Be very pretty for like Thanksgiving. And so this is like a skull uh, candle holder. Um, this was nowhere near any Halloween stuff. Like you can see it's by like kind of some stylized like African stuff looks like. Um, well, I don't know. Our, no, girls are in the jungle. <laughs> okay. So just different like animals and stuff over there. Um cute blanket the only blanket I saw very soft another look at kind of their main aisle of Halloween stuff all right so now we're on the pillow hunt their pillows were kind of scattered everywhere um, Yep, twelve ninety nine. Pretty good prices, I think. Everything was pretty small, like you can see comparatively with my hand. It's 
pretty small, but I still like them. Definitely like the color on the boo pillow there. $10 and the Happy Halloween is $13. And there was a big box of pillows <laughs> that um, somebody was uh, occasionally shelving. Like I would, they would put a couple out and then um, come back and get some more. You know, I hear that they're spreading it throughout the store this year to deter scalpers from just wiping everything out at once. But I, I don't know if that's true, but that's a good thing. But it it's also makes it easy to miss stuff. And we have our kind of Ouija board style. That pillow is a little bit bigger than some of the other ones. Witchy bicycle. And that one was much bigger, the $20 one. Um, these, this is like on a separate end cap. This, that's a candle. <laughs> the pumpkins with the bats, um, going up the side of it. Would, would you burn that? I don't think I would burn that. And, but it was like waxy and it has a wick on the top of it. Um, are you, would anybody burn that? Like, I think it would be neat if it like burned around something and then it turned into a different prop. Wouldn't that, I don't know. It seems like it should do that. Those are also candles. Which, I mean, $7.99 for a candle is not that bad. Like, if you compare it to, like, Bath and Body Works or something. But, of course, I don't... I doubt those smell. I don't know. Decorative candle, I guess. And they also have a few just, like, normal candles like that. That one smelled really good. And we're back with the teacups. Because there's another one that appeared over there. <laughs> this is where we were earlier. And this is a, a new set of teacups. Um, maybe somebody had it in their cart. And they took it back. Or maybe they actually stocked it. Or they set the stock out. But I also really like those. And this is yet a different end cap. With... A couple of, um, or that that new style, that white teacup. Maybe not technically a teacup, but it is definitely a smaller mug for sure. Salem Apothecary. Like a little sign. Alright, I didn't get a really good look at this sign for some reason. It's $40, it's pretty big. Members only, um, ride or die, the Witch's Broom Club. All right, now we're on to Bath and Body Works, which they were fully decked out. That's such a great looking display, isn't it? Happy Halloween. See, that one was Vampire's Blood. Like the Vampire Blood scent. And I think I see... Oh, and there's that bath bomb. And you can see the tuxedo candle ho holder there. The three wick. Um, I'm sure the ruffled one was already gone. Or I know it was because I couldn't find it. But the tuxedo one's a little strange to me because it's like not... I don't know, it doesn't seem like Halloween enough, but it's still cool. I'm probably looking, yeah, I'm looking at the price on something. Okay, so that's the bat soap holder for um, $18.95. A little ghost luminary, kind of, I guess, to coincide with their, you know, the wicked apple print. Or maybe just because... Uh, did I say luminary? I meant wallflower. <laughs> um, just to, uh, yeah, coincide with that. Or maybe just because that's what it is. $32.50 for that candelabra wallflower. Um, that one also projects. It projects Happy Halloween on the wall. The ghost one does not project. So $22.50. $10 cheaper. 
Oh, and those are some really cool soap holders. Um, the soap bottle holders. I don't really do Bath and Body Works soap, so I wouldn't want to like get something for that because I already have spooky bottles that I can refill for my um, like bathroom soap and stuff. Twelve ninety five for that. I do really like them though. The ghost one and the like fall leaf one there. Girlfriend Haunted Nights. Haunted Nights has got great packaging. Love the cute little cat that hangs on the side of the candle. And uh, pretty, I thought it was pretty decently priced. Uh, $8.95. Like, it seems like that would be a little bit more. Just based on their other stuff. Kind of a look from the other side of the display. I love, I think that's my favorite three wick candle holder this year. Um, the spiderweb one with the, the bling. Oh. I'm trying. <laughs> $15.95. And just to see what it looks like. I think that would look really nice though as the candle burns down. Have the gold, the sorry, the um, gold skull soap holders there as well. And I'm checking out the price on the um, tuxedo three wick holder. Very carefully, wouldn't want to break it. <laughs> All right, forty nine ninety five for that, which it is quite heavy. Notice the bat three wick holder there. Um, I didn't actually know that they um, made that this year. I, I thought the bat was just the soap holder, but yeah, it's a three wick holder too. I really like that um, leaf wallflower too. That's really pretty. And Happy Halloween Soaps, um, just a second ago. That, uh, I think said candy, candy corn marshmallow, I think was the flavor on that. Flavor. Scent. <laughs> yeah, candy corn marshmallow. And the cute little, um, chihuahua <laughs> wallflower. If I had a Chihuahua, I would definitely get that. And on to Michaels. Um, yeah, not much here, unfortunately. Just the wreath stuff. Uh, I do like the wreath stuff, though. I like both of those wreath hangers there. The welcome one and the little white pumpkin one. Um, I don't know if they're picked over on picks, which is or what those things are called. But, um, I don't know if they're picked over or just that's all the stock they have out. I did talk to one of the workers there and he said, uh, two to three weeks that things have been delayed. He said due to COVID, I don't know, like, I guess just different suppliers and different, um, I like the font on that happy Halloween, um, pick that I just, um, picked up. It actually reminds me of the font I'm using on this video. 14.99, so it looks like 5.99 for most of the picks and 14.99 for the garland. Um, yeah, but yeah, he said two to three weeks that it's del delayed due to COVID. Um, so I guess it just depends on where different companies suppliers are to see if that's you know still delaying things or not. Because obviously, like it's not for some stores. I kind of like these. These remind me of the Halloween tree. I mean, they're a little happy probably to be that, but you know the Halloween tree, that kind of weird, strange cartoon with like Leonard Nimoy is like one of the voices in it. It's 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 a pretty cool cartoon. I like it. But yeah, that's what it reminded me of. You could do like a, a little display with that if you wanted to. 
Um, you know, as I just noticed in this video, those black wreaths there kind of looked a little, um, I don't know, like they were spray painted black. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next spooky store adventure.